G-Man Boxing. Do you know what I mean? Every single live he donates. I see him on other lives donating, donating, donating. He's got the bag on it. All right, people. So Terence Crawford recently gave an interview with Boxing Scene where he was discussing Errol Spence because that is pretty much the fight now that he's looking to get made in 2023. And for me, I've long since said this, that for me is the... As much as I want to see Undisputed at heavyweight, this is the fight just from an entertainment standpoint. It is Undisputed as well. Undisputed at 147. It's been a long, long time since we've had that. And we have the two best in the division. Errol Spence and Terence Crawford, the best. There's no disputing that they're one and two. You could look at guys like Virgil Ortiz, at Boots Ennis, Danny Onis, and they're all very good fighters, tremendous fighters. I mean, I think Boots Ennis is the best out of all three of them. But they they may never get to the level of a Spence and Crawford. We just don't know. But Crawford and Spence, they're in the level of their own. They are the elite guys at 147 pounds. And as such, we want to see them fight. Now, this fight's been talked about, oh boy, probably since 2017. Even before Crawford debuted at £147 against Jeff Horn, when he fought Jeff Horn in 2018, this was the fight on everyone's lips. Crawford, Spence, Spence, Crawford. And it's been a nightmare. It's been an absolute nightmare trying to get this fight over the line. There were times this year I really did think we were close, and then things happened. But when it was talked about originally, there was a lot from Team Spence that were saying, you know, cross the street, this, that, and the other. And I think realistically, at the absolute height of it, was just before Spence had the car crash. You may remember, it was about July or August 2019. They were still coming out with the cross in the street BS. But not only that, do you remember? Al Heyman, or was it people, I think it was Al Heyman, or PBC on behalf of Al Heyman, stated that they would no longer recognise the WBO title as a legitimate world title. Do you remember that? Because so many top rank of all them, that was who was promoting Terence Crawford at the time, so many top rank fighters were getting high rankings. They were fighting for the WBO title a lot. So they actually went and said from that point they weren't classing the WBO as a legit title. Despite the fact that Andy Ruiz had literally just won and fought for the WBO title amongst the other titles he won from Anthony Joshua. I think Danny Garcia was highly ranked by the WBO. And I think they were looking to, oh yeah, um, Brian Castilla, ah, his name escapes me now. The, we all know who I'm talking about. Um, he was fighting Patrick Taxera for a WBO title. I think he actually was getting ready to fight him. So they were saying they don't recognize it, but they were still putting their fighters in. It was a complete farce. It was a load of BS. They dropped that pretty quick. And here we are now. Here we are now. And I think the reason why this fight means a lot is because... I think we're into the stage now where it might be the beginning of the end in terms of getting this fight over the line. Because Errol Spence, Errol Spence is getting injured now. Obviously, he had another car crash. He's injured his legs now. And he says that he's going to be out until about April or May. Now, will he come straight back in against Terence Crawford? That I don't know. There was talk of Keith Terman early this year. Will they still look to go down to Keith Terman Road and hopefully do the fight towards the end of next year? That, again, I don't know. Will Terence Crawford want another fight in between because he got paid pretty well by those BLK guys, I think that's what they're called. So, and he's getting good money with them guys as well. So, apparently, anyway. So, this fight is kind of, uh, it's a bit all in the air. I hope that they can go to the negotiating table. Look, Terence Crawford is willing to take the shorter end of the stick on most things. Will they re be able to renegotiate? And will they be able to come to a compromise now? Because as much as I rate Terence Crawford, and I think he's amazing, Crawford is getting to that age now where you just don't know. You know, it's not that he could be in a really, really tough fight and... You know, then you start thinking he's finished. It could just, overnight, you could see a little dip in form. And that's all it takes to go from elite down a bit. And I don't want, I want to see both these guys at the pinnacle of their power. Now, to be honest with you, 
pinnacle of their power probably was 2018 2019 that was probably the ideal time to get this fight but i still think even now with 2023 it's going to be a great fight so i hope i hope the words of terence crawford where he's saying he's trying to get this fight for the new year is true i hope we can get this fight over the line i really do and that's all i want if there's one fight i could make in 2023 as much as i want to see undisputed at heavyweight for just an entertainment point of view this is the fight that i've been looking forward to for years you know when joshua and wilder were both champions and they were talking about making their fight back in 2018 i still would have took precedent over this fight i like this fight so much and i want to get i want to see this fight made so hopefully terence crawford what he's saying is is legit it's good hopefully arrow spence decides right go into the crawford fight let's get it made because I don't want to be in a situation where the first half of the year we're talking about getting it for the second half of the year. And the second half of the year comes and we don't have Crawford Spence. And we're right back here the end of 2023 talking about 2024. Oh, do you think we might get it this year? Because by then it's just going to... I think by then it's just going to be a case of, well, it's one of them fights that's never going to happen. Or it's going to turn into a Pacquiao Mayweather, which we don't want. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video, people. Smash the like button if you could. Of course, hit subscribe if you haven't already. For now, lads and lassies, I'll talk to you.